Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares, Gordon goes head to head with the most stubborn chef he's ever met. I thought your food was crap. That's a matter of opinion. And unearths the secret garden's dirty little secrets. Ah. Gordon cooks up a rescue plan. We will make this a success. But this French chef fights back. Is everything perfect in your kitchen? Don't fucking dare start lecturing me. This is the lowest day of this restaurant's life. Now. Can Gordon save the secret garden? Who the fuck are you to turn around and tell me when you were like a pig? You yeah. French pig! Find out tonight on Kitchen Nightmares. Park, California, gateway to wine country, luxury golf courses, and booming real estate. A great location for a restaurant. But the Secret Garden is on the brink of financial ruin. Thank you for calling the Secret Garden. How may I help you? My name is Michel. I'm the chef and owner at the Secret Garden. Am I a good chef? I think so. He's French. That's his biggest problem. He's French. So you're going to have to uh, excuse my arrogance. I'm not cooking with the stuff that's in there. When I lose my temper, it's time for you to run. You told me already earlier you were gonna compete and they have to leave. Michelle just may blow up and say, what are you doing? You wanna push me in the kitchen? I will scream at everybody. Michelle's arrogant, he's French, he's a chef. All chefs are arrogant. You know what? Stop repeating, okay? French people enjoy the quality of life a little more than the American. <laughs> I spill. Michelle can be very, very uh, difficult to work with. Jane! Michelle? Serve that. That cannot sit. He's got an ego the size of France. As soon as it's ready. Come on, I need that too. Let's fix it. No, 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 no. I'm getting frustrated. The atmosphere here is definitely geared toward uh, a more mature crowd. This is the kind of restaurant that you take your grandma out for a nice meal. It's not really the happening Saturday night spot. Michelle is having a tough time making ends meet. I can only imagine what his books must look like. We need $200. That's not going to pay the bills again. I have about $300,000 to $320,000 in debt. That's a lot of money to pay back. And this is depressing. Look at that. If the restaurant keeps going the way it's going, I, I won't be able to keep the doors open. I need help. The Secret Garden, fine dining. Gordon Ramsay has just one week to uncover the problems, to devise a plan, and to turn this restaurant around. Place is locked. Where's the entrance? That's locked as well. God. Hey, door. Right. God. Where is everybody? Hello, is anyone here? Who wants to sit and eat in front of that fat little bastard? Morning. Hello, how are you? And you are? Jane. Jane, good to see you. Uh, where's Chef? Chef's here. OK. Well... Michelle? Good morning, welcome. How are you? Michelle, how are yes. you? Yes, nice to meet you. Good to see you. Well, I finally got in. Couldn't find the front door. The front door is off the parking lot. Well, I mean, I couldn't find it. So it's the best kept secret in Moore Park. And you've been running the restaurant for seven years? Seven years, yes. God, and how long has it been quiet for? Seven years. OK, well, I'll go and sit in the restaurant. I feel like I'm at Buckingham Palace. Um, Jesus, what is that? That's a, it's, it's a doily. People love those. People love those? Mm -hmm. Really? You've got all that fancy crap on there, and yet the glass is dirty. Oh, God. Right, it's almost ready, Jane. I feel like inviting my grandma for lunch. 
you not have got a bigger basket? I feel sorry for that poor, lonely bread roll in there. Let me just have a look at it before you serve it. Yeah. Oh, Christ, I feel like saying a prayer. So, um... A lunch menu and a dinner menu. Ooh, Dave Miz greens with sunflower seeds, dried cranberries and Montrachet cheese. God, is there anything plain on here, Jane? I think it's all good. Thank fuck for that. Is the crab fresh? No, it's canned. It's canned? Mm -hmm. We'll can that one, then. Baby spinach salad with strawberries, goat's cheese, asparagus, hard-boiled egg and grilled garlic shrimp. Strawberries and shrimps? Mm-hmm. I'll start with that, please, as my appetizer. Absolutely. I've got to think about a chef's perception of food when he starts to put strawberries with fresh garlic shrimps. We'll see how he likes it. He's a customer. Customer is almost always right. Dear God, for what we're about to receive, may the Lord not kill me with food poisoning. Mm. Oh, Jesus. That's disgusting. I'll wait for the next course. Are you done? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, yeah. Sadly, the uh, prawns are uh, stone cold and undercooked. OK. Uh, your prawns are undercooked and cold. When he sent the first dish back, I knew that we were going to have a little problem. Yeah, I wrote for stuff for AFP, stuff for pink. Thank you. OK, bon appetit. Big, dirty, greasy chip plate and, like, a big, overgrown ball of pubic hair. Deep fat fried. I'm fucked if I'm eating that shit, that's for sure. As tough as old boots. Go on. Damn. Raw carrot. Fine if you're a fucking rabbit. How's your steak? Um, carrots were raw, steak was tough. Um, and that was just a big ball of grease. Um, the play was interesting, especially with the chip. Gordon gave us a scathing review. Thank you. It's lazy, it's dirty, and it's just bad. I mean, really crap. Your carrots were raw, your steak was tough, and your uh, shoestring potatoes was a big ball of grease. A big ball of grease? Nightmare in Grandma's house. Fuck me. Thank God she's dead. Michelle definitely does not respond to criticism. He likes to be the man. You seem proud of that food. You seem quite... Yeah, I like it. You like I, it? Yeah, I think it's good. I mean, don't take this personally. Yes. I thought your food was crap. Tasteless, bizarre. Your food was long-winded, boring, and just, you know, badly done. Honestly, I've never seen anyone talk to Michelle in the way Ramsey talked to him. As a waitress, I don't get complaints about the food. The only complaint I might get is uh, a food cold. Jane, I'm not asking you to blow smoke up his arsehole. <laughs> I've just sat there for the last hour and had one of the worst meals I've ever eaten. That's a matter of opinion. Oh, God. You know, not... Are you that fucking arrogant? A matter of opinion? No, not being that arrogant. If you're such a passionate chef, and you are a natural because you're French and yes. you, know, uh -huh. you love cooking. Yes. Why are you serving tin crab meat? Um, tin crab, the main reason is because the restaurant is quiet. I buy fresh crab, goes bad really fast, so I have to buy this, uh, this crab. Uh, I, 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 I'm trying to get inside your mind so I can start breaking down okay. how stupid you are. I don't think he likes Michelle. We've got a lot of work to do in a very short period of time. Okay, let's All I need is not some form of French arrogance. I just need your support and, more importantly, your honesty. But I don't feel you're um, honest. I'm honest. Thank fuck for that. Thank you for the critique. What an arrogant twat. He's so far up his own ass, he can't even fucking breathe anymore. Oh. Coming up, mold is festering. Gordon finds the dirty little secrets. <laughs> Leading to a fiery food fight. That's how you work. Is everything perfect? Even in your kitchen? Don't fucking dare start lecturing me. And later, will this French chef be the one to push Gordon Ramsay over the edge? Who the fuck are you to turn around and tell me when you were like a pig? You yeah. French pig! Day two. After being disappointed with the food, Gordon now inspects the kitchen. OK, uh, Michelle's not here. I want to have a good look round and just find out what's in the fridges. Oh, that's 
Oh, when was the last time that was clean? Oh my god, it's so dirty. Oh. Goodness me. Mold everywhere. The food's been in this fridge for so long, even the fridge has now started to go moldy. Look, just here, there's like mold caked on. This thing hasn't been cleaned for years. Look, it's real mold. It's been here that long, even the bottle's moldy. The place is a health hazard. Mold is festering. So potentially dangerous in terms of poisoning someone. This place can't stay open. The place is disgusting. Maggots. Oh, confess the maggots. Oh, God. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Hi, Gordon. Michelle, how are you doing? Who organizes this place? The cooks and myself. When was the last time we had a really good sort out? Um, um, yesterday. Yesterday? Yes. Look, underneath here, the amount of mold that's growing. Look. It's really important that you're honest with me. Every time I say something to you, all you do is smile at me. Because, when when, um, when uh, are you going to get serious, Michelle? I. I, I am serious. Well, show me some fucking seriousness then, will you? Because if you were serious, you wouldn't be having this up there. What the fuck is that? That's the uh, dark chocolate terrain and uh, That's white how you work? Market. There's finger marks in there where someone's gone in with their hands. That's how you work? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. You don't care anymore, do you? Is everything perfect? Even in your kitchen? I don't think so. It's fucking clean. What do you mean? This guy with the attitude that has no idea what's going on insults me, tells me that he doesn't have to, you know, his restaurant bullshit. I don't want you to come and tell me if everything no, is awful. You hate the truth. truth. No, I don't hate the you truth. You hate you the truth. You tell me that everything is awful. You know what? I can't give the fuck where to. I work for Thomas Keller. I know yeah. how the kitchen goes. How long ago? I work for Thomas for Guy Listen, Carson. Yeah, let, hey, let me give Thomas you Keller doesn't run a kitchen like this. No, he doesn't. Thomas Keller's one yeah, of the most amazing chefs in America. He'd be uh, fucking embarrassed if he saw yeah. this shit. Uh, maybe, maybe not. This is extraordinary. It was good for him to be humbled. Michelle was of the opinion that, hey, if I want to serve dog shit on a plate and the customer doesn't like it, too bad. The restaurant is not doing that bad, OK? I make decent money. How much money have you made in seven years? How much money have I made where? In the restaurant in seven years. What, what do you mean? How much money have you made in seven years? Ah, uh, sorry. It's a big question. You need to make it smaller. How much profit have you made in one year? You're hiding from me. Mm, no, not really, but... You don't want my help? I, yeah, I, I want your help. I want your help, but, you know, I want good help. Don't fucking dare start lecturing me what you want me to tell you. I'm here to help. The quicker you understand that, the better for all of us. Right now, every time I tell you something, it's the man that's just fucking ignoring everything I say. I bet some stubborn fuckers in my time, but you take the piss. For the rest of the day, the secret garden was busier than usual. Not cooking, but cleaning. Clean kitchen, clean food, yeah? I want it spotless. I think that the kitchen looked gross. It's good to see Michelle scrubbing. He's beginning to show some skills in a kitchen. Now that the cleanliness of the kitchen is up to Gordon's standards, it's time for him to check out a full dinner service. Well, maybe not a full dinner service. The feeling when you walk in and there's nothing, it's kind of like a slap in the face. Good. Customers, a little on the stale side, but customers nonetheless. What the hell kind of puny appetizer is that? What is that, Michelle? This is a canopy. Canopy? Yes. Strawberries aren't even right there. We've been doing it for a while, people love it. Fuck me. 
Do you, do you like to decide? I will take yeah. sweet potato bisque. Okay, I'll get this for you. Thank you. Can I have a potato bisque, please? Yeah, I'll take a couple minutes. We need to cook it. The food all takes too long to cook, so when I take my order, it'll be at least 25 minutes before it's on the table. My belief is, you know, it's nice to sit down and enjoy yourself, spend two, three hours in a restaurant. That's the difference between uh, America and France. People eat a lot slower in France than in America. Fuck it out. God bless America. As customers continue to wait, Gordon's discovered Michelle's overcomplicated dishes are taking too long to prepare. Michelle, you're fascinated by crusted items and stuffing things, aren't you? Mm, a little bit of everything. Look at the menu. Macadamia nut, mai mai, crusted. The scallops, crusted. I have the chili garlic crusted salmon, crusted. Stuffed chicken, crusted. The pork chop, crusted. And then the filet, that's uh, stuffed. I like good food. I like rich food. I think it's great. It's a little spicy, but not too spicy. It's a matter of opinion. Either nobody likes everything, everybody does. Go for it. Oh, dear, it's going to be a long night. God, this guy is fucking unbelievable. You know, there's one thing about being bad, that's solvable, but being in complete denial throughout, it's extraordinary. I've never met such a fucking hard-ass, stubborn bullshitter in all my life. This is going to be way overcooked. Nope. Medium rare. Look perfect. Even with few diners in the dining room, Michelle's stubbornness continues to create problems in the kitchen. What table? Actually, what table is it on that filet pick up? That's the soup you ordered. Are we picking up seven? Oh, my God. Michelle wants to be the star of the show. Let me worry about it, please. Understood, chef. I could have been doing so much more, but Michelle wouldn't let me. I got you. I got it. If a chef is too good, Michelle does get a bit jealous. I'm going to go see what's happening in the dining room. With Michelle headed towards the dining room, sous chef Devin takes over. I know what I'm doing. I'm a machine, and I'm all over the place. And the food is finally getting out. Right, where is Michelle? First time or you've been here before? First time? I like to go to the customers because it's great for my ego. What are we drinking? Oh, Pinot Noir, yeah, I forgot. I think I know the guy that sells that wine. Michelle's does tend to talk an awful lot. I have a glass of wine waiting for me. Yeah. I, I hope it's good. Nothing's consistent. No one's taking anything. No one's got any passion. And if one thing the French have got is passion, here, zero. After observing dinner service, Gordon has come to a conclusion. OK, so let me tell you what I have seen and witnessed all day. I've seen a man that I think is far more in love with himself than he is with his restaurant. OK. Tomorrow, we start working together. No arguing, clear understanding, chef to chef, and I want to see some passion. Do you understand the word passion? Because I haven't seen any of it. It tells me that I don't give a shit about people, I care only about myself. This is all bullshit. You can do much better. This is all bullshit. Coming up... Of all the specials gone, Michelle. Chaos in the Kitchen has Gordon seeing red. Any food is the table four. I don't have it. It is, quite frankly, the most disorganized restaurant. How was your appetizer? I don't really it. It's pathetic. It's embarrassing. Who the fuck are you to turn around and tell me when you were like a pig? You yeah. French pig! And is the secret garden doomed to be a secret forever? Day three. Gordon is determined to get through to this stubborn chef with help from a little shock therapy. OK, new day, and I'm determined that this guy is going to finally start listening to what I'm trying to say. So this morning, I've shut the place down, I've boarded it up, I'm going to make him understand if he doesn't start changing and listening to what I'm trying to say, that's for the end result. And that's a sight no restaurant wants to see. How are you turn up to work so late? What's going on? I'm not closing down. 
This bullshit. Good morning. This is not funny. I'm pissed. Good. Good. You've got every reason to be pissed. I'm glad you're angry. Yeah. Finally woken up. Now, I've done this for a reason. Just think how bad it would be for your business to close. I don't see anything constructive here. It's a small town. Ten people drove by, and guess what? They're going to be advertising on TV. Oh, the restaurant is not doing well. OK, let's go, big boy. If the restaurant were to close down, I don't know what I would do. That'd feel almost a shame. But for this restaurant to truly turn around, it starts with the menu. Simple food, no frills, straightforward, good flavor, and getting customers coming back once a week, not once a year. Hey, everybody. Every time we touch something tonight, we're going to be tasting. Yes, chef. Everything. Now, Everything. Gordon is going to teach Michelle some simple money-making specials to put on the menu. OK, so first dish should be a roast chicken. Roasted, simple, and bang, out, yeah? Okay. Nothing fancy. Nice and easy. There's a lot of things. Just because we've been doing them forever does not mean we've been doing them the right way. Nothing too expensive. That's not difficult, is it, guys? Trying to simplify how we work faster, cleaner, and better. They're the four specials. Onion gratin, tuna niçoise, roasted chicken, and a fresh, local asparagus warm tart. Yes? Any questions? Is he the great cook? No. I was voted best chef in Conejo Valley. Saturday night is the one night that the Secret Garden is busy and a perfect time to test Gordon's new specials. I've got some fantastic specials to tell you about. Tuna nichoisie, a warm asparagus tart, a roast chicken, it's very moist, it's very good. All crisp and it's very delicious. We've got some customers in under the age of 50. It's exciting. What can I get for you, sir? The uh, French onion soup, the special. The special, the asparagus tart. Ooh, music to my ears. Right here, please, right away. Devil 43. Okay. How was everything? It was oh, excellent. My, it was so good. Uh, it was the perfect tenderness and it was the perfect size. And How does everything taste for you? Very good. Very good. Gordon Rams is brilliant because the responses I get off all my customers is the food is great here. We love it. Cheers. Cheers. Over an hour into meal service, and the specials are proving to be very popular, but orders are starting to back up in the kitchen. Wait, four. No, 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 not yet. Is this table four? Is this table four? Table four. What is table four? Is this table four? I don't know. No. Not table four. People were making mistakes on which tables to run the food to. This is not right. This is not right. Are they communicating with you, Michelle? No. They're, they're talking too much. Not communicating. No, that's All right. Table 16 is going to order something else, OK? Let me worry about it. You told me already earlier you were going to come, Pete, and they have to leave. Uh, we've been here for like an hour and a half and haven't eaten. I know. I'm going to say the communication wasn't quite there from the kitchen. There's not enough potatoes for the special. There's not enough eggs for the special. And no one's communicating. We're well, telling you you have nothing left. They're still ordering them. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I've got some specials to tell you about. We've got a warm asparagus tart. It's topped with a mixed green. Very delicious. Special they sold out within 40 minutes of being on the menu. And now Michelle's not communicating. They're ordering food, and we haven't even got it. I have an asparagus tart that was ordered for table uh, two. I don't have it. I ate it 60 20 minutes ago. What else is 86 I don't know about? Let, let me worry about it. Oh. Who's in charge of that dining room out there? Uh... Chaos in the kitchen has resulted in angry customers in the dining room. How was your appetizer? I never received it. Oh, you haven't received it, why not? No? I keep asking. I'm getting a little cranky. Even though it's the kitchen's fault, we take the brunt of it, and we take the brunt of the anger. I can only hope that you forgive us. I know that you haven't had your entree yet. Customers were pissed. They were really, really pissed at us. Send a manager. Send a manager out here. Cold. Listen, all I can do at this point is give you food. I can't do anything else. Table four demanding that their food is compromised. And now, instead of turning a profit with their new specials, they're giving food away. Yeah, you know what? You're going to have to hold back five minutes. It was just chaos. Everybody panicked. I'm getting frustrated. You want to push me in the kitchen, I will scream at everybody. So wait five minutes. 
When I lose my temper, it's time for you to run. I can make one, Chef. You want me to do it? Let me worry about it. You know what? Serve the food. I don't care. Serve that. Michelle was just, like, glaring at me all damn day. And I didn't deserve it. Jane, you know what? Serve your words. I have any more. It's a bit demoralizing when he's like that. As soon as it's ready, OK? All get out. Go in the dining room, take care of the customers. It is, quite frankly, the most disorganized restaurant in America tonight. Pick up. Jane, let's go, let's go. They're walking out. No, I'm loaded over. No, 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 no. Come here, you have no guts. Where's Jane? I can't do it. Jane's not OK. It all got blown up in our face today. I just am a little bit overwhelmed. What table? Yeah. So whatever the table is out there. They were getting their asses handed to them. I'm mad, because everyone's gotten their entree, and I haven't gotten anything. It's tough. Thank you. No. You know, because I'm going to find a manager. I think the kitchen is closed. To me, this is the lowest day of this restaurant's life. Pick up now. Kitchen is closed. Still ahead, when customers mow down the door... Well, there's a wheel, there's a weapon. Michelle struggles to stay out of the weeds. I'm getting frustrated. Oh, come on. But old habits die hard. You run a shit all of the kitchen. And Gordon loses oh, it. Oh, no. fucking Fuck. kitchen. Yeah, is it? Well, it's your fucking kitchen and cleaner, you lazy cunt. No! No, no, no. Where's Jane? To me, this is the lowest day of this restaurant's life. Kitchen is closed. Come on. Out. Even though Gordon's new specials got them off to a good start, the dinner service ended in disaster, and Michelle and his staff were exposed. I observed tonight, and I was watching everything. Waiters were picking up food that didn't belong to them, taking orders with specials on them that we no longer had, Communication, Michelle, was zero. I think everybody can communicate properly over here. There was no control, Michelle. This is all bullshit, OK? My restaurant is doing better than this asshole over there. Do you think this is a fucking game? Let me tell you. Now, my thing is, shut up. Enough of tonight. I want to move on. We will make this a success. Four, relaunch day, and time for Gordon to start implementing his plan. Starting with the Secret Garden's outdated decor. Look around. This is like walking into a funeral Let's... parlor. What does this do in a restaurant? Look at the mess of it. I think it gives the charm of the antique. It's not. This is going. That is going. I want to get rid of that stuff. Here we go. Chef, right behind you there. I'm opening up your eyes and making the room more spacious. I don't like it. You don't like it? No. Bye, Grandma! Next step, Gordon's design team moves in to bring the restaurant into the 21st century, redecorating the dining room, replacing the old-fashioned sign, and restoring the main entrance. OK, good. New menu. Unstuffy dining room, big, big, big night tonight. Now, get in here, Chef Michel, with your team, and look at your new decor. Very pretty. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is gorgeous. The rumor is bigger. We've got depth, and we've got clarity. There's no clutter. How beautiful. Michelle? First impressions? Completely different. It's not the secret garden anymore. It's a totally different restaurant. Do you think the dining room looks younger? Yes, yes it does. Yes. Are you worried about that? Uh, big time. I don't want to destroy what I have. I want to improve what I have. Can you give me two minutes, please, with uh, Chef Michel? The few customers that we have, I think they're going to come in, they're going to go, you know, this is different, I don't like yeah. it. Instead of helping my business, you might hurt my business. Give me a chance. OK. Give me a fucking chance. I'm not too crazy about the changes, but let's see what he can do, what he can bring to the restaurant. 
With only a few hours to the relaunch of the restaurant, Gordon unveils the most important part of his plan, the menu. We'll go through it together, yeah? For tonight's dinner service, gone are the crusted dishes, stuffed dishes, and the garlic, shrimp, and strawberry salad. And in their place are... I've done the filet mignon, the tuna niçoise, the local beet salad, the pan roasted chicken breast, and then the double cut pork chop. Um, any questions on the menu? That's brilliant. That, that's a really brilliant idea. I was concerned with that menu because, you know, I'm used to my old menu and I'm sure people are going to ask for it. For tonight's grand reopening, Gordon has invited local celebrities and dignitaries and one very influential guest. Big, big, big night. Yes, tonight is the beginning of a new chapter in Secret Gardens, yes? Tonight is the night. We set the standards tonight, yes? If we do get busy, we do not panic. Now. There's a food critic in tonight. Knowing that there was a food critic, I was nervous. I mean, this is not going to be Michelle. This is different. What are they going to say? How are they going to like it? You don't know. Good luck, everybody. Now that Gordon's plan has been put into effect, it's up to Michelle and his staff to execute. And reservation for Lisa. Finally, some life in this place. Hallelujah. Table seven, two onion soup, let's go. I was nervous. This is an important night. We have important people in the restaurant. Miss California has just turned up. Wow. Mike, table six, only half of the appetizers are gone. It is so important to keep our cool in the kitchen because that's when it's difficult. Are you listening, Mike? And that's when you make the mistakes. With a sudden rush of customers, Michelle's nerves are being put to the test. We got a, a bus of 24 people that came. Unexpectedly, um, a large bus has turned up from a local vineyard, so it's caused pandemonium. Michelle, can you make sure they don't start panicking now yes. when we're right in the middle of this crucial fucking night? Let's go over there. I need to get cooking now. Thank you. Not tonight, guys, yes? Quiet in the kitchen tonight. If Gordon gets in my way. Give me the knife. I'll take care of it. I promise I'll make him suffer. It's relaunch night at the Secret Garden, and the onslaught of new customers is putting Michelle and his team to the test. Mike, come right here, please, right away. This is an important night. We have food critics. We have important people in the restaurant. We can let it fall apart. Unexpectedly, um, a large bus has turned up from a local vineyard, so it's caused pandemonium. A bus of 24 people that came? It's craziness. It's, it's happening. Seven, onion soup ordering. Onion soup ordering. Michel has cleared his first hurdle, and the rush of customers has been taken care of. But the secret garden faces another challenge. Jane, have you spotted the food critic yet? Any idea who she is, no? Yeah, she's actually, um, she's actually on a table of five now. She joined four of the people. Oh, really? Is that table 10? Yes. That is the one we give the biggest shit about. Order in, chef. Bring it here. That's for the food critic table. OK, in one minute. Two now. Take that out. Do you have any feedback for me that they're going to ask? Yes, the fish itself was very um, salty and over-seasoned, okay. and it was just over-seasoned. Thank you very much. Thank you. Table 10 hates the food. Oh, no. No, no, fuck off. No. It was salty and... What's that, the tuna? The tuna. Michelle, I don't know what happened. Come on, guys. When some of the food came back, the tuna was over-salty. I was sweating, I was shivering. No, but let's offer them something else instead. I did, they don't want anything else. The new menu, it's good, but it's not good enough. 
we have to make it good enough. Yeah, I apologize for that. If I give you uh, one of my signature dish, um, is that going to make you feel a little bit better? Uh, yeah, something just to balance the tartness, you know. Uh -huh. oh, thank you very much. Thank you for giving me another chance. Yeah. You know, I'll get a little more used to the menu. It's a brand new menu for me also. Not an excuse, but it's always a little harder. Yeah. So, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. I'm pissed. Come on, that's his food. He's the one sending it out. Remember, David, when there's a will, there's a way. Gordon, your menu is not better than mine. Oh, fucking hell. After over-seasoning the tuna, Michelle is abandoning the new menu. He's now preparing to send his stuffed filet of beef, and Gordon is not happy. Hey, come on, please. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, yes, no, yes. no, no, I can see it on your face, but I am not going to start here and let you send shit. Not tonight, uh. no way. I'm getting frustrated. Oh, come on. Mr. Big Chef shouldn't be in the kitchen. The guy's not a chef. With the restaurant on the verge of success, Chef Michelle is insisting on reverting back to his old ways, and Gordon has reached his breaking point. Thank you very much. I think okay, it's great. Okay. Cut you, the bullshit. you don't care anymore, do you? Get yeah. straight to the yeah. fucking answer. No, I'm not cutting no bullshit. I'm Get telling you how it is. Get straight to the fucking answer. Okay? All right? Okay. All right, good. Your menu is not better than mine. You know? You're a donkey. My food been voted best chef in, uh, in Ventura County. What? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, oh, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't, don't Let me finish. Finger. Let me finish. Don't push you the finger. Put your fucking hands up here. Listen to me. You run a shithole of the kitchen. Fuck yourself. No. Okay? No. no. Fuck off. Who the fuck are you to turn around and tell me when you were like a pig? You yeah. French pig! Yeah, you know what? You lazy pig. Yeah, yeah big You're word. You're so full of shit. Open your eyes big and look, mouth. look round. Big mouth. You're not happy? I'm fucking happy. You, you can get out. Go on. You can get out. Fuck yourself. You can get out. It's uh, my yeah, fucking fuck. kitchen. Yeah, is it? Well, it's your fucking kitchen and cleaner, you lazy cunt. No. It's relaunch night at the Secret Garden, and Chef Michelle is insisting on reverting back to his old ways. And Gordon has reached his breaking point. You don't care anymore, do you? Get straight to the yeah. fucking answer. No, I'm not cutting no bullshit. I'm Get telling you how it is. Get straight to the fucking answer. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Good. Your menu is not better than mine. You run a shithole of a kitchen. You yeah. French pig. You can get out. Go on. You can get out. Fuck yourself. You can get out. Uh, My no, fucking no. kitchen. Yeah, is it? Well, it's your fucking kitchen and cleaner, you lazy cunt. No. I've got to get some air before I do something I really regret. I don't want him in my kitchen. The way Ramsey did this incredible diatribe on Michelle, and he was just blown away, flabbergasted. An extraordinary day today, but I've never seen anything quite as shocking as that. And that guy clearly doesn't care about his customers, his food, or his dining room. He just cares about himself. One selfish French fucker. Where's the train station? I seriously thought about walking away, but there were other people relying on me. I had to finish the job. After cooling off, Gordon decides to return to prevent the old menu dish from leaving the kitchen. Okay, uh, chef, chef, chef. Yes. Hey, I don't want to look at you in a month's time and say you've got screwed, slammed, food critic. I just want everything to be fucking I perfect. I agree. And you want that to be as well, yes? Yes. Every table is a VIP table, yes? Yes. Jane. Can we get rid of that food, please, finally, yeah? For the fifth time. Good. Michelle, please don't panic. No, yeah? I won't. Jane, no one's panicking, yes? No. Yeah? Please keep it together. Right, up, up and away. Let's go, yeah? That's for the uh, VIP table? That's for the food critic table. Finally, the food critic was given a proper dish from the new menu. Even though the food critic was happy with the dish from the new menu, Michelle was still not convinced. You're going to go out there and see them? I'm going to go to every, every table. When I go to the customers, they're my real critics. Let's see what people think about Gordon's new menu. Oh, it's fantastic. And the salmon is the best I've ever had. Really? Was everything you're liking this evening? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. How do you like the new dining room? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. When I asked the customers, they said they love it. The food was exquisite. It was delicious. Uh, now I'm wondering what I do wrong. How was the people when they left? Um, everyone loved it. Everyone, yes. not an angry face. <laughs> 
Okay, but I want to make sure that not angry doesn't mean they loved it. I want to make sure that they left and they say everything was great. The people that I asked, they all loved it. But if Michelle needed a little more convincing, the answer was in the cash register. You know, for 60 customers, we need $50 per person. So we need a little bit more than $3,000 of revenue. This is great. It Thank was you. great to have the business. After an evening of ups and downs, the relaunch was a success. But there is still one question left unanswered. Did Gordon truly get through to Michelle? It is difficult to do changes, and maybe not for everybody, but for me. I'm like, so wrong. Are you just saying that? No, no, I mean it, I mean it. The customers love the changes. I like the way the food came out, how it was clean, and we made a profit. I think it's exciting. I, I, I know how stubborn you are. Yes. And it's not the first time in my career I've come across someone as stubborn as you. However, tonight was much better than the other night. You put your first foot on the ladder. Mm -hmm. Now you've got to keep on climbing. Yes. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Well done. Now that you know, don't stop. I won't. With Gordon's help, the secret garden was functioning as a restaurant should. And as the week progressed, changes clearly began to take hold. If we all spend half an hour cleaning, this kitchen becomes spotless. Michelle is committed to kitchen hygiene. He also promoted Jane to manager. I think she needs the keys of the restaurant with the manager title. Tonight, Jane is the manager. <laughs> Now I'm the manager. I am the bitch of the place. Gordon's plan was a success, and now the secret garden is no longer a kitchen nightmare. And more importantly, customers are leaving happy. I'm feeling the love. Cheers. You really do have something special. Please do not screw it up. The restaurant has improved immensely. Ramsay succeeded. Dude. Thanks, Chef. Manager. Mwah. If we can't be successful now, then we're all idiots. Thank you so much. Mwah. Well Thank done. You. It was very sad to see Gordon leaves. Really helped us. I think we are at the beginning of a very, very successful year. No regrets. Thank you. No regrets. Promise. 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 Still hate me? Oh yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> Good. All my heart. It was a very stressful few days, but I think we all survive. I think it's all for the better. The secret is out. Michelle finally learned the cardinal rule of being a restaurateur. You serve your customers, not yourself.